Hey everyone, going to be uh, filming a new video here today, automotive related. Uh, what you're looking at right now is my 2004 BMW 330i. Uh, I like to consider this car still in pristine condition. I really do baby it and take uh, excellent care of it. Uh, the one exception to that, and it's not really my fault, I guess it's just the nature of the beast when you drive, is uh, what happens to the headlights, not only on, uh, obviously, uh, this car, but any type of car that has one of these plastic uh, headlight lenses on it. And getting close in here, you can see what the problem is. It's got that uh, the pitting all over it. It's got... Um, you know that haze that's developed on the surface of it. I guess what this really is is the clear coat all um, you know just getting obliterated here when you're driving and it, it gives you like this real horrible appearance it's definitely affected the light output out of the lights at night I could see the difference instead of a nice clean beam of light on the road you kinda get this you know uneven beam uh, across the pavement that looks like it has artifacts all in it I guess when it's reflecting off all these little uh, bumps and whatnot on here, the bigger ones, it really does scatter the light and doesn't give it a, a nice clean appearance anymore. So, I mean, both the headlights look like this, obviously. It's the same thing over there. Uh, I'm trying to get a little light on this here to get a better picture with this light I got set up on this bucket. But, uh, like I said, what I'm going to attempt to do today is uh, restore these, and uh, I'll show you the kit that I got right now. Okay, so here is the weapon of choice that I bought uh, a couple days ago. It is a uh, 3M headlight lens restoration system. Uh, read up on this online. It's got a, a lot of good reviews that it works. And uh, as you can see from the pictures here, it, you know, it shows you basically sanding, refinishing, and polishing the plastic lens on the car. And supposedly it it says it'll restore it back to new condition, so I guess we'll try it out and see what we get. Um, supposedly it gives you enough material in here to do uh, both lights, so um, I guess we'll start with one and work our way over to the other one. Okay, so I got started here, and uh, we're looking at the directions right now, and just by starting off with this, this is a really great set of directions that 3M gives you with this. Unlike mostly everything you buy these days that have like horrible directions to them, this actually walks you through every step and gives you a nice description, uh, you know, going along on every single step of this. So, anyway, I went ahead and took care of the first two steps here. Uh, first step was just to clean the uh, the lens with some soap and water. So I took care of that, just wiped them down just to get the you know residual dirt and everything off of it. Uh, step number two, it asks you to tape off the lenses, okay? Um, so basically you're going to be taping, actually I should start by saying I popped the hood uh, just so I didn't have to, uh, you know, tape the top part, lip of the, uh, the paint here. So I went and took care of that. And... Um, like I said, it, it tells you to tape the perimeter of the light off, so I guess when you're using the sandpaper, you don't, you know, run down and start sanding the paint, which wouldn't be a good thing on your car finish. Um, so I just taped around the entire lip of this, alright, um, covered as best I could, used two layers in a lot of the spots, just in case you wear through it with the paper disc, did both lights. And uh, there is a, really isn't anything special about the tape. This doesn't come with the kit, but um, it says to use 3M masking tape, which I think this is 3M actually, but it's just a blue painter's tape that you can get in Home Depot or Lowe's or any home improvement store. So I uh, went and did that, and uh, I guess we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so on to step four here. Actually, well, step three I just took care of. What it basically wanted you to do was take this um, disc adapter with, uh, you know, basically has a collet on the back of it and you, you mount that into your drill chuck, all right? So that's in there nice and tight. It's got like a Velcro surface on here. And what it's asking you to do is attach and center the P500 grit colored abrasive disc to the disc pad holder, okay? So you got a whole bunch of these. It gives you... Yeah, you know, a nice stack here of different grits that you're going to be obviously working through. But you have enough to do both lenses after looking at this. 
All right, so same thing. It basically just wants you to attach this, you know, onto this adapter and press it on. You know, not rocket scientists, rocket science, I should say here, guys. But I figured I'd show you each step, and uh, that's it. You're good to go. So uh, I guess we'll start uh, going to town here. A little nerve wracking taking a piece of sandpaper to my car, but wish me luck. Okay, guys, I'm going to. Uh, Give you an action shot of me using the drill on this in a second, but uh, before I went ahead and did that, uh, I've been going to town on this for probably about two minutes now with the first uh, 500 grit disc. And as you can see, it's basically uh, turned the lens into this, you know, haze look now. Uh, but it is smooth now. All those uh, bumps and ridges are pretty much gone. There's a few of the bigger ones left, so I'm going to work on that now, but what the directions tell you is just to basically go back and forth with a nice smooth motion across the lens. And don't let the sanding disc sit in one spot too long because you can actually burn the lens from, you know, the heat that's produced from the, um, the friction. Um, so like I said, I used the first disc, it started, the sandpaper started wearing out, wasn't as effective anymore, so I switched over to a new piece of sandpaper and I'm going to continue doing this. Uh, one item of note, it tells you to use a drill with 1200 to 1600 RPMs. I don't know what each of these settings does in terms of the RPM speed of the drill, but I wound up dialing mine down to 1, which is the slowest, uh, slowest setting on this, as you can see. Uh, just because I don't want this thing obviously burning a hole in the lens, it's not a good thing. So, uh, like I said, we have a brand new disc on here now. Uh, here's the one I just took off, the old one, and uh, I'll give you an action shot of this now, so let me set it up. So that's basically what you're looking to do, a nice steady smooth pace across the entire lens. Just work yourself from the top, you know, across and down to the bottom. Make sure you get all your corners well. You know, you want to get down here into all these grooves and whatnot and up here. And just watch what you're doing. Make sure you're not sitting too long on the, uh, you know, the masking tape and all the corners and everything so you don't wear through that and start hitting the paint. Okay, so after going at that with the 500 grit after a while, what you want to do is you want to take a rag, wipe the lens down, and give it an inspection, and see what you got. You're basically looking for an even haze across the entire thing now. And you can see I got a few spots. I got one here. I got a little bit here where it's not quite even yet. So I'm going to go at this just a little bit more with the 500 grit, and then I think we'll be ready to go on to the next step. Okay guys, after going through three sets of discs on this one headlight lens, I think we are at where we need to be. Um, so I wiped this down now, it's just a dry cloth, and it's got a nice smooth feel across the entire lens. All the original clear coat is gone. It is basically down to bare plastic now. It is normal to get this dust on everything, by the way, when you're sanding. And uh, like I said, we are ready for uh, the next step, which is uh, 800 grit sandpaper, which I have already installed on the drill. And uh, just another note, uh, just inspect the tape as you're going along. And if you ever see it, start seeing some places that are starting to wear away on it, go ahead and layer that back up with some more masking tape so you don't start ruining the paint. I see right here I got a little spot that I'm starting to, uh, looks like it's getting worn away a little bit, and uh, another one over here. So I'm going to 
go and double that up now before uh, moving on to the next step with the 800 grit alright so I just completed the 800 grit phase of sanding and uh, as you can see now it's got a uh, I mean don't get me wrong it still looks like crap but uh, we're up to the next stage where you're gonna use a uh, 3000 grit uh, they have some special name for this I don't remember try something but like I said there's another pad that comes with the kit you're going to put this onto the uh, adapter here again velcro and uh, what it wants you to do is basically just dampen the surface of this with some water like that okay uh, it tells you to use a spray bottle this isn't uh, glass cleaner anymore it's I cleaned the bottle out and just added water to it so I can haze the lens and it just basically wants you to do a fine mist on the lens like that and uh, do a wet sanding with the 3000 grit now okay so I figured I'd give you guys another action shot here of uh, how this works I already did um, about two to three minutes of sanding on this with the 3000 and the uh, you know a little bit of water and I gotta tell you I could see the um, the actual bulbs now and the lights again which is really cool I was a little skeptical when I uh, you know just got done with the 800 and the thing was completely hazed over still but wow this is really starting to come back to life now it's it's paper smooth now it's it's really nice you, you still have a haze on it I guess I'm gonna start working that out now but uh, like I said I want to give you a little bit of an action shot on uh, how this works inside um, the drill with the 3000 grit so again this is a wet sand process so you're just gonna Lightly mist the lens like that and then uh, go to town again. What I found when I'm doing this is I, uh, I guess the revolutions of the drill, it's a lot easier going from left to right. If you go from right to left, the drill tend to, you know, kind of wants to tend to, to roll out of your hand uh, and you start fighting it. If you go this way, uh, I find it smoother, like I said. I, I have gotten the technique down where I'm able to go back and forth now, but initially you probably just want to go from left to right. And then what I also do is, uh, as you just saw me at the end of that, I, I like to then go this way and um, you know try to make sure you don't start getting grain marks I guess in the lens if that makes any sense um, with wood obviously you stay with the grain this is obviously plastic no need to say that but uh, anyway I, li I like to work in both directions just to get a smoother finish to it so I'm going to continue on with this and I'll bring it back for the next step okay so just got done with the uh, last sanding step with the 3000 grit wet sand and uh, as you can see from the uh, lens now you could basically see right through it now back to the bulbs which uh, I, I did tell you before but it, it looks really clear now I, uh, I also went ahead and did the other side and brought it up to the, the last stage uh, which is going to be the polishing uh, all that's really left now on, on the plastic is light swirl marks. It, it almost resembles a swirl mark on the paint of your car after you do a compounding or a heavy waxing. Um, that's all that's really left on the plastic so I'm going to move ahead to the polishing stage now and uh, we'll see what we get.